In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a topology in a Cisco modeling lab. First, you need to have access to Cisco modeling lab. If you want to know how to get free access to Cisco modeling lab, I will put a link in the description. Watch that video first. After you log into the Cisco modeling lab, the interface is going to look like this. You have dashboard, tools, developer, add and import. So all your topologies will be in the dashboard section. These are some of the topologies I built before. I'm going to delete these topologies and I'm going to show you how to build a new topology. If you see a sign on, that means that topology is currently in use. If you don't see on, that means that topology is off right now. I'm going to delete this also, but the delete button is not active. So that means I need to wipe this topology before the delete is enabled. I'm going to wipe this lab and now you see the topology is available for delete. Delete that topology. This is a sample topology provided by Cisco and this topology is right now off. I'm going to leave that alone and I'm going to build a new topology. To build a new topology, go to add. Now you are in the workbench space. These are the Cisco images. I'm going to bring in a bunch of switches. Just drag and drop. I'm going to bring in a router. I'm going to bring in a PC. Let's bring in three PCs. Currently, I am running Cisco Modeling Lab personal version. So I am limited to maximum of 20 nodes. The desktop doesn't count as a node. Only Cisco images are counted as a node. Now I'm going to start these switches. Right click on them. Hit start. I'm going to start these desktops also. Start the router. This will start pretty quick than your switches and routers. This will take about five to six minutes. But if you do not have any other topologies running, these will start quicker because you have more available resources for these devices to boot up quickly. I'm going to go and turn off this one because right now my lab time is going to be up soon. So I'm going to stop this one. You can see they are turning off right now. Everything is off now in this topology. Let's uh, go in here. You can see the desktops already started. Let's start to link these devices together while they are starting. Right click on the desktop, add link. It's zero to gig E00, create link. And I want to show you one more thing is by default, you will have four interfaces on these switches. Right click on it, add link. You can see you have gig E. 0, 0, up to 0, 3, that means four interfaces. If you want to add more interfaces, I will show you how to do that. Let's connect this one first. Now I am going to add more interfaces to this switch. First click on the switch and go to interfaces. This is where you add more interfaces. You can add four interfaces at a time, but Right now, this add button is inactive. That means you cannot add interfaces on a running switch. I'm going to stop this switch. Stop. Now it stopped. To be able to add interface, you have to go to simulate and wipe the node. And then you will be able to add interfaces. Now you see the add interface button is active. I added four more interface. Let me add four more. So I'm going to have 12 more interfaces. Now I start the switch. Let's connect this switch while it is booting. Let's interlink these switches together.
you can see you have 12 interfaces. Now they are connected together. Let's connect this one to the router. Add link. I'm going to select the last interface. And I'm going to select Geek E00. Create link. Now they are connected together. Let's go into one of the switch console port. Hit enter. Now you are into the switch. Enable. Conf-T. Host. Host name. S1. Now you change the name to S1. And. And now you can start to configure your topology. So this is how you build a simple topology in a Cisco modeling app. So that's all for this video. If you have any question, leave that in the comment section. I will answer them as soon as possible.